Hello Leo, welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie and this is Blazer the Morky and we are bringing you your November monthly reading today. Today we'll be doing a Celtic cross spread and pulling an oracle card to close off the reading for the Leo Collective. Keep in mind these are general readings. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. You can check out your sun, moon, rising, and north node reading placements for additional context and texture. And be sure to check the description below for links to my personal readings or to setting up connections on social media and making donations. Also, happy Scorpio season to everyone here and happy birthday to our November Scorpios. Okay, let's get started for you here, Leo. You are kicking us off with the painting, the Nine of Swords. In your current energies here, there may be something that you are reflecting on. You may be dealing with an issue that feels like it's outside of you or is external to you, or it's an aspect of yourself that you are trying to get to know better. At times, I feel like you get up in your head about this energy and what it might be, but it it definitely feels like a reflection that may be important for you at this time. The energy challenging you is the Knight of Cups, the wolf. This is a loving, heartfelt, forward-moving energy. It could be related to you, since we're seeing a lone wolf here, self-love, self-love. So Leo, you might be working on loving yourself through a challenging aspect of your personality that you're dealing with, or some sort of pain or hard situation. And the energy of the Knight of Cups comes in and the wolf energy to, to love yourself and to heal as you work through the shadows. You may be shadow traveling right now and working through some hard stuff. In your needed focus area, you have the beautiful clover with the Wheel of Fortune here. And in my closure technique that I use, we use a clover, an energetic clover for the setup and for the environment and the protection with a crucible in the middle uh, fire which transforms the energy and I feel like this is where the universe is carrying you into transforming these energies, these loving yourself through these differing aspects of yourself, aspects of yourself that maybe seem hurtful or painful to you could be mistakes that you feel that you've made. It's something that you're looking at that is a reflection of you that um, is a bit hard, is a bit hard to, hard to look at and hard to resolve. In the past, you get the fox, cunning and sly. This is the three of wands. Um, this could be maybe representing a way that either someone was very deceptive with you or you sniffed out deceit in a situation or possibly even where you were deceptive with someone else. Sometimes we are not consciously deceptive. We are sub and unconsciously deceptive because of something that we haven't healed. We could be operating from a place of pain instead of a, a place of contentedness and balance and joy. And that's okay. That's the human experience here, Leo. In your future, you get the Queen of Swords, the Thistle. I'm wondering if this doesn't call you to be a bit more clear, a bit more sharp, a bit more present in your energies with someone or a certain situation. We're going to have to get some clarities, but the Queen of Swords, she is, she she will communicate and sometimes rather sharply. Sometimes she comes off a little cold or a little prickly, but that might actually work for you in a certain situation. We'll have to see. In your place of empowerment or empowered embodiment, you get the tree. This is the strength card represented in this beautiful deck from Dan Francis. This is called the Hide Tarot. And I love it because it's black and white and it gives us some really unique aspects on things and the different energies of the cards. So this is about you being strong like a tree where you are rooted and you are grounded, but you are also flexible. Okay, so it's really interesting. You may be really working on navigating these energies. In the place of support and ally, you have the witch, the four of pentacles. Now we know that witches get a really bad rap, right? 
and there's a lot of, of judgments and specificity put on what a witch is and everything like that. And many people, frankly, don't even know really what a, what a witch is. They just know that some people dress up like them at Halloween or they try to accuse a celebrity of witchcraft. They don't really know what it means. And this Four of Pentacles, this is a working of the earthly energies that is on your side right now. So if you imagine yourself working with energy, maybe in a cauldron, so we'll use the witch as an example, and or maybe even a uh, mortal, mortal, mortar and pestle. You could be a chef, you could be mixing herbs. This is something physical you can do, but making a soup, okay? We're going to work with some of the earthly elements and we can do that really easily through food and herbs and things like that and work a little magic, okay? Put put something together. Don't use measuring. Don't measure with measuring cups or spoons. Make your own concoction here. That is in your allies and support and I think that helps you tap into your creativity and you may want to just do it for yourself at first. You may not be trying to advertise it to everyone, but to experiment a little bit. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. In your environment, you get the anemone, I believe is how you say this, the three of swords, the anemone. And this is an energy of letting go some of the pains of the past. And I'm definitely felt like you were doing some shadow journeying right now, Leo. And you can see that this anemone, I think I'm saying it right, an enemy, an enemy? Maybe it's an enemy. <laughs> One of you will correct me or somebody will message me and tell me. It's losing a petal here and it's something is falling away, a petal that has lost its integrity. And that coming up in your environment, that's okay. That's the shadow work we do. I, I really do believe you're shadow journeying right now. And I'm going to make that the title here of your reading in your hopes and your fears you have the queen of pentacles the fruit and it's a pomegranate it's kind of shadowed here on one side but illuminated on the other like the light source is coming from this side the queen of pentacles she is very patient okay so you're hoping you can be patient with this process with this shadow journey that you're on right now you may be feeling some saturn like energies come in where you're feeling a bit pushed into this but i think it's a very important time for you and the queen she does not fear she does not budge she does allow these things to come to her and move through her that's part of her being in that position of strength and again it's very connected to the earth very grounded energies coming in there which is also back to the four of pentacles here and all of a sudden i'm getting really really tired leo and i i don't know that it's me yes this time of afternoon about when i get to your reading sometimes but maybe you're just feeling exhausted <laughs> with this process with this energy because I do get a lot of physical feelings that then are not there when I complete the reading. In your potential outcome, I think you're really going to like looking at this card, the angel, the star. This would be a clarity or a refocus back on your goals, your dreams, your desires. I think that's coming back around for you after this journey through the shadows. And I feel like I've been with you on this journey all year. There's been some ups, there's been some downs, quite dramatic at times, but you're also a Leo and you know how to navigate those dramatic energies. It doesn't mean it's always fun. It doesn't mean it, it is always easy. Let's look at what you're currently dealing with, this reflection of yourself in the painting, the Nine of Swords. And clarifying that, you get the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Leo, the happy home environment of the Ten of Pentacles, where everything feels whole and home and hearth is all coming together as one, and the celebration of the Four of Wands of something you've built. There's a piece of you, like either you are lamenting that you don't feel this energy in your life at this time, or you are taking a step back from these energies maybe, taking a little like a personal hiatus from these energies if they are currently in your life to really assess 
a shadow aspect of yourself that you don't want it to impact the good the good vibes and the good feels that are going on around you for some of you you desire that and it has not yet come to fruition so there's um you're wrestling with some of those energies now it's a journey and a challenge to love yourself through this but that's what you're being challenged and asked to do with that wolf card here we have the lone wolf but we know that the pack is nearby. Let's get some clarifiers for this challenge with the Knight of Cups. We get the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Yep, so there's the, the journey, the shadow journey taking us into the recesses of the mind. And you can see that there are one, two, three, four, I think there's like nine ra black ravens. No, there's eight black ravens. And there's one white raven. And right now, I think you are overwhelmed and stressed out with the magnitude of this part of you, this aspect, this shadow that you're facing. It would be hard to be present in a home environment, in especially one that feels rather good while you're dealing with these energies. So you may be going to see a therapist or a counselor or taking a retreat vacation, or that may be important for you to look into. You've got the Page of Pentacles here. Be mindfully slow and gentle with yourself through this process. You're a fire sign. You probably just want to get it done. But there is some benefit in you learning the, the beautiful patience that's involved with staying present with yourself as you're going through shadows. A lot of us get trapped in abandoning ourselves when the going gets tough you know, the tough checkout or they get going in a good way. And this is a balanced and patient and good way to get going with this energy here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The universe is naturally going to be bringing in something very important for you here, Leo. So I don't think you really have to worry about the momentum coming. You just have to be still, be able to be still and patient with yourself. Some people go on those silent retreats. That might be good for you because there's a lot going on in your mind and maybe the silence would help you sort some things out and if you can't go on a retreat that's not very realistic for everybody you may just need to get some quiet time to yourself even if it's just 10 minutes every couple days just to really purposefully be the clover there that wheel of fortune is clarified by the three of wands and the two of swords the universe kind of wants you to narrow it down from all these stresses and maybe that's the importance of getting away from other people. It's not because you don't love them. It's not because you don't want to be around them, but you just need some damn space. So you can narrow things down and only focus on a few things with this two of swords because the universe is saying here, hey, even two things to focus on here is enough. Two shadows or determining what these shadows are trying to teach you what messages they're bringing to you and you need to be able to be still with that energy you're not riding the waves quite yet you haven't jumped full force into the healing waters of the ocean you are plotting out your course you are watching and observing the waves to make sure it's even a good day to surf in these energies right Got to be patient with yourself here, Leo. I think this this journey for you, it's going to be slow. And I think it's been going out all, all year. Something tells me that this by the springtime of 2025, you'll be feeling more hustle, more motion, more fire that you want to feel again. So just be patient during this changing time for you. Ooh, these cards. What's going to come out for this Three of Wands, which you also got in your needed focus, different Three of Wands in the past. A deceit energy, a sly, cunning, sneaky energy from the fox there. I feel like at some point, Leo, you might have been made to feel like you could not make good choices. Like you weren't good at making up your own mind. Somebody, maybe a parent, kind of took that away from you. Maybe they chose things for you instead of allowing you to be empowered with the power of choice, which would have been important to you. And 
that was that was something that was always in your awareness i felt i feel that someone or some situation stripped you of your power to choose or you feel like you just absolutely had no choice like everything was coming at you and you were the you know cornerstone of everything and, and there was no escaping that you had no choice maybe some of you feel like you had no choice but to stay with a partner who didn't treat you correctly because maybe there were children involved in your dedication to the children and the the structure of the environment in your current environment, we see your desire for that happy, harmonious home. Some of you have it, but you need the silence from it to work through your own energies. Others of you are working on manifesting that through not being given that choice in the past. It might be one of those times where as you're doing this shadow journey, you are connecting to that greater being aspect of yourself because you're trying to actually understand why your soul is on the journey it's on right and it's more of a soul communication and i'm wondering if that that reflection isn't your soul speaking to you and you're working with you're definitely working with some in-depth energies and your readings the last few times have had this tone of like it's not the normal leo tone it's been like you really like slowing down and working through something and that's okay it's just a phase it's you know i think lions only hunt what actively hunt like a couple hours <laughs> i don't know and most of the time they're resting and sleeping and you know doing other things so playing with their young you know taking care of the kids right so you may be someone who has a lot of responsibility, but you haven't always felt like you have a choice, right? Interesting. But that, that's energy that comes up in the past. So in the future, moving toward this Queen of Swords, a more empowering energy, more to the point. You're not quite going to feel super comfortable in this energy at the beginning with the Five of Swords. It might feel a bit foreign to you, but the Queen of Swords definitely makes her own choices. And if she doesn't want to share something or she doesn't want to give something of herself or something that she's worked hard for, she's not going to. She's not just going to give it up as a whim. She's not just going to give it for the sake of giving. She's going to make sure that her resources are shared in a smart way. And if there's any kind of energy that sends her to thinking, it, you know, or feeling that it just doesn't feel right to give in this situation, she's not going to. And somebody may perceive that coming up in the future. This may be you uh, experimenting with boundaries here, and somebody may not be comfortable with that, okay? Somebody close to you in your life could be a parent. If they were the one who kind of stripped you of the choices, or if it's a work environment kind of situation, somebody may not be happy with the new Leo that is being born out of the these 2024 challenges that's too bad they can go on their merry way and new people will come in for you for your empowered place the tree so you're gonna be really rooted in strength within and you're also going to be flexible and look we have the ace of swords and the hierophant things are illuminating to you as you work through each shadow an illumination comes in for you which is beautiful and here we have clarity of the mind here with the ace of swords a new way of thinking about things a new way of approaching things a new way of communicating about things that feels empowered rooted and flexible all at the same time you're not going to have boundaries so rigid that they become limitations but they are going to be there to protect the sanctity of the tree and the forest and we have the hierophant here and look how joyful this guy is he's so joyful this is feeling good in your newfound authority this is feeling great about the illuminations that are coming to you out of the shadow journey and yes there's there's this there's a staircase behind him that he can walk up but he's already been up one and that's how he got to this ledge so you're just climbing this spiral here and you're feeling really good about it spiritually i think you're it, even though you're shadow journeying you're like wow i do i have begun to learn i have begun to see 
the importance of journeying through the harder times, the harder shadows, the harder, more um, what we would perceive as negative aspects of the self. Let's see what gets clarified for your support and allies with this witch here and, and using those resources, protecting them. We have the Ace of Cups, making sure that your cup is full and that you're coming from a place of overflow and being very mindful about that. That's going to be very supportive energy for you. And then the Nine of Cups. Actually, I feel like this is a gratitude practice for you. That one of the ways you can best support yourself is with a gratitude practice. And I'm going to say for every day, or at least once a week, you sit down and talk through or write out, even better, write out on your vision board, on your planner, wherever, nine things that you are grateful for and open your heart up to those energies and spend some time with that. Let's look at this anemone. The three of swords that came in for your excuse me, environment. Here's another dog. So there's that picture there. I said anemone, but I think it's an enemy now that I... Uh, I always think of it like a sea anemone. Isn't there a creature that swims in the ocean? But this looks like a flower. But hey, we're all learning new things all the time. And this is clarified here. Your environment is clarified by the star and the eight of cups. You may feel, again, I get the sense that you need to get away. It's time for some silence. It's time for a spa day. It's time for whatever way that you can get away for a little while with this Eight of Cups. And you can connect back in with where you're headed. We've got the Hierophant here. We've got the star here. We've got the star in your potential outcome. This is Aquarian energy that you're connecting in with here. And look, she's holding the string to the reconnecting with the goals and the dreams to her heart right? But it, it does take a walking away, some space, some space from what's going on in the current environment. Because for you to work through the pain with that three of swords, you're, you're aware that you don't want it to negatively impact your home or your vision for your home, your home environment, the people you live with, your pets, everything. You're considering everything here. Let's look at this queen of pentacles that is in the hopes and fears and remember she was the pomegranate fruit represented by the pomegranate fruit we have the justice card and the two of wands patience steadfast dedication to yourself and your shadow work taking one wand at a time observing first you were very much observing too with this three of wands and your needed focus this is the two of wands in your hopes and fears. I think on the one hand, you're hoping you don't repeat old patterns. I think that's what that two of wand is. You wanna be really careful not to repeat old patterns. And But you have this justice energy. This is a really lovely balanced Libra kind of energy, Leo, that's showing up for you. And she is going to unsheath that sword in a very balanced way. So this would be you actually being able to find the words that explain things the best, especially because somebody's not going to like what you do or say. You, at the end of the day, are going to own up to you are doing it from a balanced place within yourself where you're connected with your heart and you're doing it from a place of gratitude. And from a place of actually like acknowledging and gifting yourself for this journey that you're on. Despite what anyone has tried to keep from you before or tried to make choices for you. This is about you gaining that all back. And for the star, the clarifiers are the Page of Swords and the Magician. The Page of Swords, now, she kind of wants to know, wait a minute, what was going to really happen here? I want to know. I want to know. Even though I see there's like this tightrope of possibilities, right? I want to find the one way across that's going to give me all the answers. So, but she's a page. She's not the king. She's not the queen. She's a page. So there's still a lot of learning coming up in the potential outcome for you. But we also have the magician here. And I really like this magician energy for you. This feels very intuitive. It feels very cosmic. 
there is a, a pool of water that this magician is focused on and swirling almost like a water portal that opens up a small pond or something that's opening up there. I think for you, it's going to be a matter of your healthy emotions opening back up. This is going to be kind of the joyful crying. You may have already had that where tears of joy because you are releasing some shadows along your path here and you're illuminating into these new energies. And it has been a challenge, but you're doing so with, with a grace and with a balance, with that justice card and then the magician coming up here. Trust in your magic, Leo. Trust your magic. I might put trust your magic through your shadow journey. It's a long one, I know, but that's, that's more what encompasses your reading here. Leo, let's get you a card from the Divine Animals Oracle to close off your reading today. Leo, you got the number 19 card, Goat, Reliability. Is your word reliable? Can you be counted upon? Make your way successfully step by step. Steady as she goes. Nourish yourself. We should climb mountains, not carry mountains. And absolutely, we saw with that Hierophant card, you are climbing the mountain. And I do believe you're acknowledging that. Steady as you go, Leo. Goat magic, and specifically the magic of Thor's mountain goats, is one of reliability and sure-footedness. Goats are remarkably athletic and agile on mountainsides and difficult terrain. They are robust creatures able to withstand the cold or rough environments, and they are available to all people, rich or poor. Call upon goat energy when you need stability and balance in a precarious situation or when you need nourishment after a period of scarcity. And where I saw in your reading where someone was removing choices or choices were being taken away from you or you were led to believe you had no choices in a situation, this energy of the goat, very agile, very sure-footed, gives me hope that you're really going to work your way through these shadows that are upon you right now. And I really like the support and the balance that I see coming in for you. Leo, thank you so much for joining. I can't wait to see you next time.